revolt is said, and they were commanded not but that they should worship Allah, and worship none but him alone, abstaining from the surrounding partners to him, and performing our salat, and giving zakat, and that is the right religion. It is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah, but it is pity from you that Pi reaches Piety. Piety, sorry. Piety is from you that reaches him. Say, O Muhammad, whether you hide what is in your breast or reveal it, Allah knows it. Umar bin al Khattabi reported, Messenger of Allah said, The deeds are considered by the intentions, and the person will get the reward according to his intentions. So whoever immigrated from Allah, for Allah, for Allah, and his messenger, so to tell him, his uh, immigration will be from Allah. For Allah. For Allah and his messenger, so to tell him. Mm -hmm. And whoever migrate, immigrate mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. worthy benefits or for a woman to marry, his immigration will be for what he immigrated for. Al Bukhari and Muslim. Okay, the commentary. Read the commentary. Commentary. According to some hadith, the reason for this hadith is that a person sent a proposal of marriage to a woman named Uma Qaisis, which she turned down saying that he should have to immigrate to Al Medina for it. Accordingly, he did it for this specific purpose, and the two were married there. On account of their events, the man came to be known among the companions as Mahajir, Um, Hajar Um Qais. Um Qais. Mm -hmm. Meaning um, the one, the one who migrated for Um Qais. The one who migrated for Um Qais. Yeah, that means Muhajir Um Qais. Mm -hmm. On the basis of the hadith, Um, or the unanimous opinion that the real basis of one's action is Muna, Minai, bracket intention. And everyone will be requ requited according to his Nia, Nia, Nia. Intention. Intention. Mm -hmm. It is true that the Nia is found in one's heart. That is to say, one has first to make up one's mind for what he intends to do, and he should not express it verbally. In fact, the latter is our bida, mm -hmm. innovation in al bida, al bida, mm -hmm. innovation in religion, mm -hmm. because no proof of it is found in sahir, sahir, mm -hmm. in sharia, sahir. Mm -hmm. The point which becomes evident from the hadith is that he class. Sincerity is a must for every action. Mm -hmm. In other words, in every righteous deed, one should seek only the pleasure of Allah. Otherwise, it will not be accepted by Allah. Jazakallah khairan. Um, yes, alhamdulillah. All these ayats he quoted in this hadith proof that our niyyah is what um, determines our actions to be rewardable or not. 
as for the qissa that is uh, behind this hadith that this man migrated only for this woman called Umm Qais and people used to call him Wahajir Umm Qais. It is a well-known story but it is not uh, based upon something that is authentic. But the scholars, they, um, it, they, 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 they narrate it because it helps one, it helps one to understand why or the meaning of the hadith. The second thing about the uh, niya being in the heart, yes, that's true. Niya is something between you and Allah. Only Allah knows what you intend. And niya is of two uh, types. The niya of the action and the niya of for whom why the action is done. The niya of, of the action is when, I, when, I, when I'm to pray Maghrib, I have in my heart, I intend that this prayer is Maghrib prayer. That's the near for the action. The near of the one for whom the action is done is, why am I praying Maghrib? Am I doing it just because everybody is praying Maghrib? Or it is because it's an obligation that Allah Ta'ala placed upon me, that I'm, so I do it solely for the sake of Allah. So he says that saying the near with a tongue is a, is a bid'ah. That's what many scholars say, that you shouldn't utter the, near with your tongue. It only has to do with the heart. But the scholars say if one has what is called waswasa, some people if they don't utter it, it you know, they have they have problem with, you know so the person who has waswasa has problem with with their near. So some scholars they say it is um Liked, meaning it is recommended that they make the near so that they can have, you know, uh, peace of mind. But if there is no reason for doing so, um, many scholars, they disliked it. Few, they say, um, it is a bid'ah. Saying it's a bid'ah is extreme, but it is, the sunnah is to just have it in your heart. You don't have to say. Some people, when they want to pray, they will say, "Now uh, to Salat al Maghrib, Salat al Rakaat." Then they, you know, Allah knows why. What are you praying for? You don't have to be there telling that I want to pray Maghrib three Rakaat and this and that. All the details you don't need it. It is only in the heart. But the most important part of it is why you're doing it. The fact that you're doing everything for the sake of Allah. That is uh, what we. You can understand from this hadith and from the ayah that you read that Allah says in Surah Al-Bayyina, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ They were not commanded except to worship Allah and sincerely for His sake, subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah accept from all of us. Thank you, Elijah.